Today we are going to talk about stem tea or also called twig tea. We have here two different ones. This is a Tamario Kucha twig tea and this is actually a Kukicha or a twig tea cookie coming from the name stem and cha tea. So Kukicha, these two teas are stem teas. What I show you here also is actually what the stem tea is about. Stem tea is called stem tea because you got the stems of the top leaves in it, which means normally the, the farmer takes the three to five top leaves also for the stem teas and he uses everything, the leaves themselves, but also the stems leading to the leaves. This looks then like this. Here we have the Yakushima Kukicha, which I prepared you in five gram uh, portion. And what we have as well is the Tamario Kucha from Mr. Fujisako from Kumamoto. So the southern part, the Kyushu Island, and you can have it there from Yakushima, an island two hours south of Kagoshima, so even further south. And these two tea are very different in their taste profile. That's why I really like to compare them as well. Here we got a more fresher tea and here we got a deeper tea with a umami note. In general about Kukicha and this call, so-called Shiraore, you also call it Karigane. Actually, what you say is that a Shiraore or a Karigane is coming from a higher grade tea. Meanwhile, the Kukicha can come from any kind of Sencha, so a normal green tea. This is the main difference. You can also see it in the color, in the deepness of the richness of the green. Here you get a lighter green, here you get a little bit of a dark green. Um, this is coming from, this tea has been shaded and this has been less or non-shaded, but on the island of Yakushima we have a lot of fog, so there is kind of a natural shading process as well. So this one here, Shiraore, and this one here is the Kokicha from Yakushima. Now what we're going to do is we're going to taste them. So we put them in, in the Kyushu's which I got from Okinawa or which I brought back from Okinawa. Just try this to put in here. Voila. Ah. Still some in. Good. And we do the same for the Shirora. Voila. Good. What we do is we leave them, both of them, at 60 degrees Celsius or 150 Fahrenheit. We leave them in for only one minute, both of them. And let's see how the taste profile is putting the same amount of water in both of them. So what I can tell you about the farmer is that in 1993 already Mr. Watanabe in Yakushima, so with this tea here, he started organic farming um, on his island. Since 1993 also Yakushima is a UNESCO heritage island, so it makes absolutely sense for him or it made sense for him at the time to switch on organic farming. If we talk about Mr. Fujisako, Mr. Fujisako is actually a farmer which started already 1986, the organic farming. So he was one of the very first farmers applying organic planting in Kumamoto. So the area, it's kind of a high plateau where he plants his tea, very interesting personality. Also due to the fact that he was one of the first while organic farming was not at all at vogue and it really puts him under pressure nearly to close to the collapse or bankruptcy, but he survived and his tea is just amazing. Tamario Kucha, also for the ones who don't know, Tamario Kucha is actually a turned tea. So normally with the Japanese tea, you have this needle shape. This Tamario Kucha is only turned. So they leave away this rolling um, process in the end of the production, which makes this tea then uh, with round needles. So I put both of them into the cup. Voilà. 
already in color i can see that the uh, yakushima due to the high to the more greenish tea and here was a more darker tea you also see it in the liquid a small difference between these two teas in uh, in liquid so this one is a little bit uh, darker while this one really goes into the golden color but let's see taste wise how the difference of these two tea is here we get, really got the umami yellowish nearly corn so really like a straight strong also straw flavor i get into my na in, into my nose so more this yellowish umami flavor and here here i got much more of the straw than here here i got much more sweetness and corn flavor in the nose here is really like kind of dry grass or already straw straw flavor taste wise you got a smooth like a nutty popcorn flavor coming out it's creamy as well on the tongue very interesting but you also yeah you get this like this popcornish flavor which is predominating not a lot of sweetness a little bit of a tingling on the on the, on the tongue showing a little bit the acidity of this tea and if we go now with this one here it's more has, has, has much more body much kind of more settled it's a little bit of a darker tea you might say it's really it has much less of this popcornish light flavor it's much stronger really really bringing the straw flavor in Mm -hmm. it's a lot of the straw flavor but also kind of a little bit of the freshness the grassiness of the tamario kucha is coming out both of them brewed at this temperature so 60 degree 150 fahrenheit no astringency at this point and mm -hmm. it's a bright popcorn flavor here and here Mm. the strong bodied uh, straw flavor so this is the main difference between these two so actually final verdict if you have this one here you have a light kukicha a little bit of, of acidity here you get much more settled uh, full bodied straw flavor like giving it a more character to it so but both tea i like them very much this one is even my favorite because i like this lightness of this of this tea especially when i had a hard day at work and i come home and i just drink in the evening this one here but this also very interesting flavor profile if you like a little bit this dryness of the straw and a little bit more character in your um in your uh, stem tea this one is definitely a good choice